RP, app not active. This first password protected thing I've ever joined, so give me a second and I'll figure it out. Yeah, you just gotta type it in. It's case sensitive, so just make sure you're doing that. Who it who needs help? No one yet. That would maybe be me. Here, I'll send you a screenshot of where to put it. If I'm not completely retarded. I just yeah, I mean it's oh, I it's at the very top there. Right above the car in the in the track I uh, picture. And then, uh... RP, app not active. Here, I'll grab the password for you. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, I am retarded. And then, that's the password. Yeah, I just copied and pasted it from Discord. Nice. Alright, let's get this shit rolling. What's the description key for the, for the file? What do you mean? Mega file. What description key? I don't know, I clicked on the, the mega file. You know how uh, you said it was gonna be a bigger, bigger lobby, and it says enter description key. Whenever I click on it and open it. Uh, uh you know, say, just click on the link from the announcement. Maybe try it that way. Yeah, that's the link. I'm doing. What? Yeah, the announcement. Yeah, that's the link. I don't use it. Here, I'll send you the file. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. Now it's working. I do not have the same. Uh, I do not same. have the. Oh, oh yeah, I don't have that. I don't know who is behind me. Oh, Let me get all this shit set back is up this, here. Is this the I'm, track map? What? It's just the new pit box layout, I think. And yeah. You just like rubber banded in front of me. Yeah, I thought you rubber banded, so let me uh, check uh, the ping. <laughs> yeah, I'm at 84, so I'm like running it a little cautious. Okay, I'm at 53, so that was weird. That was weird. Well, you I get lags. Really... Hold on, you you get lag spikes as other people join. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So that that's why we lock it that so you can't nuts, join once bro. the race starts. Yeah, bro. You too fast and furious, me man. Some Vin Diesel shit. RP. <sighs> you guys got 13 kilometer an hour winds, going cross and like going fucking out west, I guess. Yeah, it's going to be crosswind mostly, and that's 26 degrees Celsius on the track right now. What is that in freedom units? Yes. Bet. That many. Nice fries. I love this. My phone is going off completely. All right, yeah. I don't know who's in third time wise, but I'm coming for you. Is there in front of me? <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. I'm stupid. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna let the auto guy on my map. for a second here. Ooh, all right, now that that's all set up properly. I hope Patchy stayed up, cause it looks like he'll get a good grid. Couple new names too. Welcome to uh, those of you who haven't raced with us before. I don't know if you guys are in chat yet. I'm here. Welcome, welcome. MX5s get hairy. There somehow has become tradition that if I'm broadcasting, there will be an incident and we'll have to restart the race. Fear not. It'll all be okay. Yeah. Just. Assume, like, assume that someone is going to spin you out at some point in the race, and then if it doesn't happen, that's like a nice little bonus. But if it does, you are ready for it, and you can just turn around and keep driving. Yep. Uh, now it's a hundred percent realism, so more important, 
like than anything else is not getting hit hard. So keep your eyes on your mirrors and stuff. If you don't use radar, definitely put your radar up. Yeah, virtual yeah, mirror. If you hit F11, you get like a rear view mirror. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, but I have one hanging like three quarters of the way, and that's really all I need. Time. Oh, nice. That'll be fun. Yeah, I love it with the MX-5s actually, it is nice. Not a but huge fan with the high-speed right. cars. Are you using scroll? Like, white pure? What's up? <laughs> Are you using soul or pure? What are you using for filters? Soul. Yeah, that's horrible on soul. Uh, all right, then. <sighs> Yeah, I just literally just tried it out today. I set it up today. So, I if you're gonna, have not you, yeah, you should get pure, and there's a VR filter for the pure. Right. Yeah, I think Speed, you posted like a whole setup guide for VR, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. But I was too late to do it. Yeah, you gotta, and don't forget to save your other settings as a preset before you switch everything for VR, so that you can bounce back and forth. Okay. Okay. Because I forgot to save it. Well, I forgot to save the VR preset when I went back to my other one, and big regrets because I, I saw glory for a little bit, and I've been too lazy to set it up since. And I think that's part of why I haven't used my VR since. <laughs> it just doesn't look as good. Oh yeah, everything's like ah, oh, I do not like this. Yeah, it's super washed out. Yeah, it, it's nah, it, it's tough without setting it up, like. Definitely fun and definitely worth doing, but highly recommend. Yeah, I'll do it for the for the one time. I'll do uh, it like this for the one time. Yeah, see if you can change uh, the sole picture set filter that's on there. Like whatever filter you have, if you go to the one that says like photo mode, you can at least see if you have any filters where it says default. You can scroll left and right and like see if you got anything that'll change how it looks, make it a little better for you. Monday, did you guys do anything fun over the weekend? This is my weekend right now. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> we took my newborn fishing for the first time today. He's three and a half, like four weeks old. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. We didn't catch nothing, but it's fun to have him outside and in the wilderness and yeah. around it. Early, early in season. Kind of you got time. Radio. I just drive right now. I just threw out for a bottom cat today. Just a little set and forget and watch because we had like a complete picnic with the three of us right there along the river and shit. Ah, nice, nice. Sorry, I gotta take my game fuel before we raise. Speed, you want to uh, check audio levels on the stream for me? Like to see how it hang, sounds? Hang on one second. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to do it this second. Are you kidding me? It's gonna cut. All right. Uh, yeah, one sec here. Just yeah, out of curiosity. On YouTube or Twitch? Uh, it's on YouTube now. So they save. That's smart. I'm gonna mute yeah. my Discord. Yeah, yeah, are you're you talking? good. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Make sure the levels are all good. Uh, see if that's working. You guys talk too, that way you can, the Discord, uh, you can hear that. Um, Any, there you go. I hear you, but... Well, yeah, no one's talking. Oh. Oh, what? Check, check, uh, quick check. There you go. Okay. Right. There that you go. That so confusing. I, yeah, right. I hear, everything's good. <laughs> All right, cool. Cool. There you go, 10 out of 10. Teamwork. <laughs> Makes the dream work. It was oh, so yeah. confusing because I was hearing you talk in the stream and then in here at the same time. I'm trying to tell you that I can hear you. <laughs> Who's talking right now? <laughs> I wonder how this is going to work if, well, it's two 20 minute races, so you won't have to pit. But it'd be interesting to see where all the pit boxes are if we get like actually that many. 
Although nine people already on the grid, this is a decent start, you know? I think we had 13 sign up. Yeah, I just signed up today. I signed up just to put it on my calendar. Smart, smart. Speed bump from Canada. Oh, you got the rookie livery. I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. The default skin, if you will. <laughs> oh, man. I always forget how nice that Maryland skin looks with the gray. Oh, yeah. That is crispy. Kind of awesome. I do think I'm going to go a little more charcoal gray with the next one. I, I like that yeah. color. Uh, it's it's nice. And it's got like a good fade to it. Like, I don't know how you pull that off, but it's, it's perfect shade. Yeah, Changes around. Mask with a gradient on it. Nice. Smart, smart. Yeah, like the lights hit it pretty good, too. I don't remember what like half of these drone buttons do, man. I gotta figure it out again. Whoa, never mind. Interesting. with the top lap time so far Looking oh, pretty damn good for long. I'm so slow I don't know man no one's putting up that fight just yet I'm and there she goes <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I was watching Jay I knew it was on a hot lap <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean I'm leaving like six seconds for people so nah, it's yeah. there if you want it <laughs> Why? Uh, what is uh, are people doing? Forty sixes? Is that what the top was? Or, or, I'm, or thirty six or whatever. Yeah, I know thirty sixes are potential. <laughs> Speed. What'd you hit in uh, practice? Thirty nine. Yeah, you did. Nice you nine. hit a thirty nine because in practice I hit it like a forty four. The lowest I got a forty four or forty three. I forget. Damn. Yeah, I haven't been able to crack the 40s consistently since uh, we were racing here last like September or whatever it was mm. yeah we haven't done this one in a while because I, I was too lazy to look for uh, extended grid but cheese has posted a whole bunch of them so I was like ah well I might as well find the rest is there one Found for a group. Uh, Valen Wega? Uh, probably. I would imagine. I, 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 THR made I, extending extended grids for a lot of them, or at least put them all on their site. Yeah, because that one, I did a one-off pulling around on LFM, just seeing what was out there, and uh, mm -hmm. Valen Wake is an awesome track. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 
Shatter looking good. The moment of truth. Oh, I love this fucking track, Beautiful. bro. Yeah, I feel like this is the MX5 track. <laughs> like a rough, so dude, I've been playing this track since I was like 10 years old on PlayStation or Gran Turismo, bro. Uh, uh, I love it. <laughs> is there a Sonoma RP. mod out there? Not I just watched the there Toyota GR86 race last weekend or whenever that was. That looks pretty fun. There is. I've got it downloaded, but I haven't used it, so I don't know if it's good or uh, not. I think we have a Sonoma on the server. I don't think we've used it yet, but I think we have one. Moonshiner, try going a little deeper into that and like taking a wider turn in. Gives you a little more acceleration that first turn. Checked in with Kai. Checked in with Bo. I think, I think I remember my time on practice. I think it was like a 144 or 1. Something like that. Like not even, but in mm. there. And I got that right before. Started and all that the practice. Come on. Boom. Oh. Oh, almost had it. it. Chalk it up to broadcasters, curse. Come on, I got a break nine, bro. Damn, what livery is Wibble got? I don't even remember who made this one. This is sweet. Or is this just in Kunos and I haven't seen it in? No, no way. That's not a Kunos RV. one. Have not active. Yeah, this thing is sweet. Does anyone remember who made this one? It says pro, so it's someone who was in the pro class, I think, or thought they were. Well, like they 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 switch around. Ooh, ooh. The thought they were was... <laughs> we, uh, we... Like, liveries get submitted before rankings are put out and everything, so... It gets funny. People will sometimes put, like, their class and everything, and then rankings will switch up and they won't be there. RP, have not active. So far, looks like we got 12 racers. 24 minutes left to practice. MX5 is always a big one. Although today you guys have pressure on you. Can you beat the EU grid? 15 racers, man. That, that was fucking... That's a good turnout. Yeah, they had a great turnout. And it looked like a good race from what I could tell. I tried to check in every once in a while. Yeah, there were a lot of crashes I saw. <laughs> yeah, but th they have a little more ping issues than we do. So uh, that's what I kind of figured was happening. Like, it gets harder for them to stay together in a close grid. I will say for being for playing off the EU though, Apache is stable as a motherfucker. Nice. I think he got, I think he got ran into a couple times. No, no, I mean like when he races with NA. Yeah. Or, or, or did he when he was racing with us, you mean? I don't know. Huh? Out of gas. 
The question isn't so much when, it's where. That's what really matters. <laughs> Looks like it might be the chicane, so I might be good on that. Yeah, it's all downhill from there. <laughs> the, the problem is the hard hairpin to get into the pits and then carry your speed uphill into your pit box. Have you guys planned your pit strategies yet? Do we have to do a pit strategy? Oh, yeah. Do a pit? Is that what you're telling me? No, no, I'm fucking with you guys. <laughs> yeah, 20 minute race, you have to pit. <laughs> Alright, here like, we go. This math is nothing, but. Oh shit, dude. I mean, I'm down. I'm not gonna be able to do something. Okay. <laughs> what are we pitting every three laps? Oh, yeah, they literally. <laughs> I mean, Alright, guys, you get an out lap, a hot lap, and then a pit. <laughs> I can make it to my pit box, bro. You wanna push? No. No, I'm just popping that bitch in <laughs> neutral. And Lightning McQueen, that you motherfucker. <laughs> hey, you. Can I have a kiss for you? God, you're fucking hot. Fucking crazy shit, buddy. Yeah, you gotta get pushed before you're in the pit boxes, I think. No, I'm good. I, we're good. I'm up to 8 miles an hour, bro. Speed. Oh, yeah, you made it. That's it. That's too fast, they're ticketing you. Five points to Akon. Five points. <laughs> Taken away. Oh yeah, probably <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, they're not doing time penalties anymore. Uh, who's not doing time penalties anymore? FIA. Oh, <laughs> it's just shit, negative points, that's it. Bro? I mean, probably a good idea. You don't want, you don't want the race, you don't want the racers to feel bad. Here's my thing, right? Has everyone seen this 10 team thing that to keep Cadillac out, essentially? Yeah. So, I'm, if I'm Cadillac, I wouldn't really worry too much about it, only because, like, well, like, how much longer can Williams afford to go on? <laughs> I, like, I, I'm being genuinely serious. How much longer, like, is this profitable for them? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's huge, it's very the profitable. Like I think, I I think they could just kind of buy out Williams at this point if that ten team thing goes through. Like, I don't know. Oh, was that who spot Audi's taking? Yeah, they're buying. They, they own stake. Oh, they're just not they? calling it Audi yet. Yeah, yeah, that's so that's the is stake the kick team, right? Or no, yeah, is yeah, that yeah, yeah it is kick, right? Stake yeah, kick yeah, so that's the one that's gonna be out, right? That's what you're saying, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, they own it gets very confusing now, uh, I think, and they are gonna get 75% next year and then 100% year after, yeah. <laughs> Feel like you could wear the gold anymore? I didn't think. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's pretty fucking yeah. good. Yeah, right. Wow, look at that line of cars. Holy fuck. Little mid race pra or mid practice race. They should use drones in racing more. They're not fast enough. Yeah, you, if you get a few of them, <laughs> yeah, well, first of all, they are now, but if you get a few of them, you could definitely still use them. Literally, like, they would just be closer right TV cams, you know? Are we thinking like the one that Red Bull made that last like five minutes? 
Well, I'm just thinking more like they have drones that are quick enough that you could use a few of them throughout the track, I feel like. Like, no, they couldn't keep up with the cars, but they'd go fast enough where you could get a few turns as opposed to a TV cam. You just get like a section of one or two. You know what I mean? I mean, it, that definitely depends on the race. Like, for slower cars, drones, absolutely doable. For faster cars, no. I mean, like, the uh, drones can cut the track, so I don't you have to follow the exact right, track like, the cars. It just you can compensate for some speed just for that. I, and I yeah. think you, like, having multiple would just, like, because we already watched them change from TV cam to TV cam. Like, if it would just be less changes, if anything. That and also, um, <laughs> like for like if we want if if this was like WRC, I don't think it would be that doable out of because do you actually you could do a drone. Well, anything like super enclosed or something, yeah. Like if they're in like a forest track or something like that, like yeah. I mean, they already use it in Formula Drift. Why couldn't they use it in something like here? Not like I don't think Lasart would be. Uh, Sorry for this that, but I don't think that, that Le Mans is a track that they could use it at or Spa. But I yeah, think no. a track like here, it would be fine if the track stays around. Right, like it's got to have enough turns to where you can just jump from section to section. Yeah. Right. Like, uh, for, w, like for, uh, for WRC, it wouldn't really be not for a long time because the thing is that the dust is a problem yeah and then um and that drones just won't be fast enough to keep up with them and then you have to worry about uh signal which you would probably need a helicopter for anyways oh my god i bet you probably the biggest reason is they don't want to risk crashing you, cr you crash a drone in the middle of the track that's dangerous the wind just switched to the complete other direction, by the way, just so you guys know. It is now eight kilometers to the other way. Still a crosswind. Track temp did not change. Alright, time for a Scandinavian flip. I'm kidding. Check it in around the grid. I don't know, boys. Looks like EU is having the bigger grid so far. Damn. We can't let the people who drive on the wrong side of the road win. I know, it's an American track, too. What are we doing here? <laughs> the Brits in their teeth. <laughs> Somebody said they would beat us in a drinking uh competition and i just don't think brits that's or the true. irish the brits i don't know about that the irish definitely I, I i'd give that one to them that's fine it was irish or german maybe yeah 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 i don't know about that and then again i have seen british food i would be a thorough <laughs> alcoholic myself so honestly same it's British food, like not good or something. It's, like, really <laughs> it's very bland. Is Patsy in the chat? Because that's the only reason I fucking said that. <laughs> Are we just making fun? Oh, he's not even in the chat. Oh, we're terrible. We're yeah, awful we people. Oh god. Honestly, I'm. And we were awful I... people before that. No, I know. Just Is like. That what makes ads. you awful? Because holy shit, last weekend what a fucking. M mild what racism, hell? yes. <laughs> That wasn't Wait, really mild. Thought, thought or was na mild, mild nationalism? I don't really know. I'm not not PC enough. I'll get there. Neither am I. I, uh, I, thought, I thought it was American food that was touted being bland, not British food. Or there is no like, one American, American food. American I was going to say, like, American food is more like we just got a lot of food. Like, slightly food. different versions of everybody else's food, okay, and it's awesome. Tell me that, like, Southern barbecue is bland. Yeah, like that's not like you can't Somebody say that. That's crazy. Out. Yeah, that's wild. Cajun food. Yeah, like Cajun food. Seriously. 
What about tacos? Like somebody's tacos well, are, are definitely American, American by now. Tacos are the Mexican version of tacos. The, the the tacos that you get in LA that you think you might get food poisoning from at two in the morning. Oh, I've dude, those are the best. LA, so I don't know what that's like. Well, uh, now, see, drunk food, I think, is where Britain might have us, though, because, like, I've seen, like, their, like, poutine fry version things, and it just looks like slop. But oh, if I was my, hammered, uh, I would I would dig into that. My brother went to Scotland, and they have this thing called, I think it's a munchie box. Uh-huh. And, like, they're only, basically only sold past, like, 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. And it's just, like... It's different everywhere, but it's just the a mixed match of every kind of like drunk takeout food. It's like pizza and curry and nice. um, kebabs and fries and fried chicken and all in like one box. That's a good box. Sounds awesome. Yeah. So you like, I would smash that. That sounds awesome. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Man, ever like I don't even know how long ago, months ago, I saw this video, and I'm sure all you guys have seen it, of like the drift Mustang going all the way around this first turn in Laguna, just fucking screaming. Yes. Like every time we do this track, that's all I picture is that fucker just roaring. Bonds or No, no. What color was it? It, it was like a black, uh, it was a black Mustang. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, like an older one. I thought. Then again, I haven't seen the video in a while, so in my head, most car videos get replaced with a Mustang fastback if you give it enough time. Oh yeah. <laughs> so. Actually, I could be anything. Uh, it's just a gorgeous car. It deserves to be doing all of the things. You haven't seen Transformers. Nah, that's my bad. I lost it before I hit you anyways. I forgot, like, how not terrible the first two are. Like, I caught a couple glimpses of them the other day, and, like, you know, I, I did like it until it got wild. But even then, I just still didn't mind it. I watched the one with, uh, what's his name? The guy who kicked the Filipinos at Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's kind of funny how, like, active. older, like, you know, like, old bad, like, we have bad movies now, but then there's, like, older bad movies. It's oh, yeah. Like, at least there was still, like, somewhat of a creative idea happening there. Now, movies. now, hang on, hang on, hang on. When you say older bad movies, what what kind what What's movies? Yeah, because is that's a wide range here. What do you consider like an older bad movie? Like either way, it's gonna be right. I'm just curious as to like, when. Like uh, think of like Shark Tales, and I'm not saying it's bad, but it's. Did you just say bad? Shark Tales is RP? Shark Tale, like with the Will Smith animated with a fish. Like okay, it's not bad. It's not the whole. Well, no, yeah, that's I, that's what I'm caught up on. This is that that's the old oh. <laughs> I thought this server was not. Twenty years ago, calm down. Oh my. Is Shark Tales considered old? I don't think Shark Tales is old. But, but the video game was what, like ten years ago, right? Like it couldn't have been that long. Twenty fourteen. Oh no, wait, no, it couldn't have been twenty fourteen. That's that was ten years ago. Oh. Ooh. Shark Tale must have been what, like 2007, 2008? Oh. I'm trying to remember like a bad oh. movie that was still... I, I, See, I like when you said that, I was like thinking like... Ago, so. I, I was picturing like <laughs> Airplane or like Blazing Saddles or something. Like I thought you yeah, meant like... No, I'm I sure thought he meant like in like the spoof movie. parody sense, you know? Like like how Hot yeah. Shots is, is like... That's a great movie, but it's also a bad Airplane movie. It's still you know? fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. It holds up. I'm not sure what I was thinking of. Spaceballs. 
Oh, space. I, I, I think, that, I think that's what I was getting closer to. I, it was, it's mainly like parody movies that are just kind of meant to be a joke, but it's still somewhat of a creative idea. Yeah. Versus well, what's like, that one like, horror movie, Cabin in the Woods, right? That's a oh, great movie. That's, that that's an awesome. amazing movie, but it was that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a parody of all those, like, other ones. And they do a great I job. Well, I kind of. Like a bad movie now, I was thinking more of, like, sequels. Like, you know, just keep, like, they just keep making sequels. But... Yeah, yeah. Like, like uh, take Kung Fu Panda 4, for example. It's not really a bad movie by itself. I haven't seen that one yet. I, I, I won't spoil it, but... I mean, you did that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, uh... It, the thing is that it gets so weighted down that it's a sequel that it kind of makes it bad. But by itself, it's not terrible. Uh, uh, uh -huh. But it isn't great. So somehow the animation quality got worse. Yeah. It's always sad. It's like, how do you make the animate like your first movie looks better? And that came out in two thousand was it nine or seven? Oh Patch can not hear us. He's in here. Um Panda One came out. You think just because I'm broadcasting, I can look things up? 2008. <laughs> I was looking it up, for the record, but... <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The first Kung Fu Panda was 2008? Yeah. Damn. Like, 12, maybe? Arcos was, like, 2004, I think. I think of everything in, like, at least the 10s, but, like, it wasn't. October 1st, 2004. Okay. God, that movie's old. No, it's uh, 20 years, like... That's, it's 20 years old, oh my god. That makes... I, I wasn't <laughs> born yet. Like, still. I would say... You could maybe argue Lion King. Lion King great. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying as, like, old. Like, I'll give you that maybe as, like, an older animated movie. Like the original Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Throw that that's one in there. Good. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That one's like a, I thought one's like a hundred years old. No, that's gotta be like, what, seventies, eighties? I'm pretty no, buddy, that's like. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's twenties. It's in color. Yeah, it's the first. It was the first one to use Disney's patented uh, multi-screen printing program. Dude. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. That's, the more I'm, you know. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was like. It's over a hundred years old. I don't know. Well, like the story itself, yeah, yeah. But we're like the movie that's in color, definitely not. Cause like color I, I movies were really like in like the sixties, I think. Wait, you... actually, I'm not sure. So there might not have been color TV then, maybe, but I think there was color projector. I'm not too certain. A hundred years ago? I, Bro, I'm, you're, I'm gonna be you're bugging. Next. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I guess old movies for me is like. Not you're right there, Speedball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, just watch. the first color TV <laughs> came out in 1953. First color movie, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, 1937. Wow. So, I mean, you, it's not, it, it's almost 100 years, though. It's a lot closer to 100 years than I thought it was going to be. I'll say that. That's crazy. That makes me uncomfortable. So, Alright, we should stop this conversation. I'm feeling way too old. <laughs> Dude, it's literally older than all of us. That doesn't Dude, make it better. So funny. 
Yeah. <laughs> I witnessed the first. Yeah, no, it, it was also in color as well, which is pretty cool. RP. Yeah, that is that is actually crazy. That was that long ago. <laughs> Sorry, buggy. That's all right. Oh, we got 14 people now. There we go. We're almost at the EU grid. Paula hasn't even started yet. We're good for at least another two or three. Do we have 15? No, I'm, I'm number 15. Is it still practice? Yeah. Let me do that real quick. I yeah, it's still practice. For some reason I thought it was quiet. I was like, shit, I gotta get a lap in. No, no, you get, you got some time. Wait, you know, wait, you know, hold on, there's two people talking to me. I, I, no, 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 I, I heard Mogo's thing. Who else was saying something? Someone was asking me if they should do something, or if I was sure. No, sorry, I was, I was talking to my wife, I apologize. Oh! <laughs> no, she got a C-section, so I was asking her. Oh. Good man, good man. I, I, I guess an old movie for me is very different than an old, old movie for you guys. What do you mean, you guys? Oh, what do you mean, you people? Well, I don't, you, you literally all you guys are older than I am. <laughs> yeah. I consider an old game <laughs> past nineteen like eighty. At this point. Yeah. For me, an old movie is point. like anything past like two thousand. Old for me right. is anything right. like nineties and older. Yeah, I I. I think that was a little better. All right. I feel like that movies that came out around two thousand though were still filmed using pretty modern techniques. I mean, most films are still film music, mostly modern techniques. Like, are we talking about, like, the filmmaking process of it, or are we thinking of, like, the technology used? Yeah, I think it goes all, all that goes into it. Is that like, Moonshine or? Oh, uh, it's speed up. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I was, I, I'm bored and watching TikTok. I'm not bored, <laughs> but like, like I don't want to do any more laps and like, psych myself out. We get it, we Speed's get it. Speed's gonna faster. get one last one in. I'm too slow for you. I'm literally in last place. Like, for now. Kind of crazy, that last place so far. <laughs> I'm still figuring out this breaking point for turn one. <laughs> I've been breaking oh. it like the two sign. That was good. Got some nice acceleration there. But I'm also the slowest guy here, so wait, 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 maybe on. not did, listen to what I say. You search oh, up a Nemo came out with. Crack out squirrel. Bro, bro, over the hedge was awesome. Over the hedge is definitely not an old one. That's gotta be. That's definitely 2010s. I'm pretty sure it's no. 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 2006. Huh. Yeah. What? Oh, got it. it is never said 2006 to me, you're my boy. What the fuck? 2006? Was it actually 2006? I'm pretty sure it was. Are you guys just saying that or did someone look this up? No, I mean, no, two of us said 2006. Okay. Okay, let me. Okay. I'm All right, sorry. well, does someone look it up? <laughs> I, I know it's not 2010s. This was. Hey Siri, when did Over the Hedge come out? <laughs> 2006, May 19th. Hell yeah, brother. God damn. <laughs> Dude, that movie was so good too. It, this is just like crazy to me. Where did like all these years go? Uh, <laughs> what the hell happened? A gauge. Uh, you had, you had what a, year did the Simpson movie, movie come out? Dude. Like 2008. God damn. Hey, Siri, you guys like... all get freaked out of the Simpsons movie when they turn the lights on and the movie ended for a second? I didn't see it. There it is. Me. RP, oh. half not active. Bro, you're joking. Oh, oh God, speed. There we go. Oh, still six? Motherfucker. Oh yeah, see the pits are exactly what I figured they were gonna be. Look, <laughs> what? 
Just what squeezed happened? right in there. They just stacked them. Actually, old... I will say we did have like a big influx of uh, EU players. Like uh, when yeah. I was looking like the pit lane, I saw like the names go green. It was like, and most of them were like EU players. That's good. We need, we Hopefully, need, we can start we filling them up. We need more EU players. Yeah, as long as we still keep uh, <laughs> one or two NA guys around. I will, you'll, we'll be. I'm, I'm sure the NA grid will probably fill up this season. Also for GT3, I think it'll fill up pretty good this season too. We've yeah, I might do this time. password thing. I might keep it open, and then the problem is locking cars to people. That's where it gets tricky, but we'll figure it out. Oh, you know what I should do is I should get, is I should make I should get like paddles, but they should be windshield wipers. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want windshield wipers, damn it. <laughs> you can buy windshield wipers to uh to oh, but the that's wheel. Just cool. I want I want the feel of an okay. actual car. <laughs> Qualifying on the hog. Wait, wait, wait. What <laughs> actual car do you know has windshield wiper paddles? Uh <laughs> WRC cars. Wait, do they really? Yeah, they they yeah. have a paddle for windshield wipers. Oh shit, I had no idea. That's sick. Yes, yeah, so the paddles that's like on their steering wheel, they, I believe you can push it with the back of your fingers, like in, and, so I think if one of them activates like, uh, like the, the fluid that comes out, and one of them, uh, does the windshield wipers, and it's a, it's an omni, not an omnidirectional one, but you can pull it and also push it. Nice, nice. I don't know what's going, I don't know what's happening, there's too many people. oh god. All right, I'm gonna let you guys do your thing. Good luck, everyone. Oh fuck! Oh. You know, that was uh, just a nice, quick minute of fog there. Switched it up uh, on a couple of these races and templates there, just make things a little easier. It's a little heavy fog to scare scare off some randoms. Although now with the password, we won't really have to worry about that. It's more having it for a tradition, honestly, at this point. I was going a little 18 hour. kilometer an yeah. hour wind. That's going to be an interesting one. That's strong. We'll see how that affects qual because that's going to be like that for the remainder of qualifying times. Road temperatures up to 29 from 26, so that should help them out just a little bit. Give them a little more grip. We do have Wibba going to be the first one looking to set an outlap, but speed bump behind him was chased down those top times. We'll see who else is going to be showing up with some opportunities here. Do have Mo Power, Leprechaun, Moon, and Kai. Kai with a little bit of a spin heading into the final turn, but recovers and moves on to start his clean lap. Same with Project. Brendan Diaz with a little bit of a, I think a beach moment there, but keeps moving. Does, um, we got was. Dave Bob going through. Hey, you. A nice long grid here as everybody's starting to set a couple times. We've got some cuts on the first lap as people get a little antsy and try to avoid one another. Patchy and Ostrich getting real cozy. They'll have to find a little bit of space before this thing begins. And that actually is going to be the I back of our definite. grid today. Let's move around, see who we got. Project Purple there. Let's keep an eye on the European invasion there. We've got Patchy diving his way past Ostrich into Andretti. That's going to give him the advantage. Ostrich will back off and let him go. He is far enough up on his delta that we're not going to get a good read until he crosses. So we'll have to judge it by the line, but staying within limits. Definitely going to be a little behind because he had to pass some traffic. Might be in his best interest to keep these guys close behind him and leave the space to the man in front. As the more racers he passed, the closer he gets to the next big grouping. Uh, looks like Brennan Diaz and a couple others. A few guys sharing liveries today. Uh, 
should make things nice and interesting. You see Speed Bump, Kia might be rocking the rookie liveries together, which is nice and comical. Matchy coming in with a big dive here through the corkscrew. That's going to look real good through the Delta. Not showing me just how far up he is on his time, so it's hard to tell in relation to the grade. We do see Mo, Wibba, and Speed Bump all hitting 140s right out of the gate. These guys have got to get down into the 37s to be competitive, though, judging by Jay and Patchy's time. Patchy's swinging around here. Jay does cross the line with the 38, so that's going to be a big test. How well can he do with traffic? A 39-3, so definitely a great start. He's not going to have any traffic going through now, so we'll let him roll on. Kiagolski joins the grid. He's going to be on an outlap right now, so we'll have a few moments to get his uh, or dial things in. Laguna and MX-5 is a popular combo, though, so I'm sure they are well familiar with what they need to do. And through turn 11, I spoke too soon as Kia goes into the dirt, or sand rather, so he will not be uh, getting a hot lap in. Speed bump well up on his time, looking just about a second and a half. So that will put him somewhere around the 138 mark, I believe. 138.5, so that'll keep him ahead of Patchy for the moment. But again, those guys did creep into the 37, so he's going to have to find another half a second here and then some. I know he's been trying a few different angles into turn one, so hopefully he can dial something in pretty soon. Looking elsewhere, we do have a couple of guys still looking to get their laps in. Marui uh, looks like recovering from an outlet, but he's heading into turn one, so we'll give him some time. Same with JT, Pez, and Mogo, so those guys are not quite quite on t measurable times for us just yet looks like moonshiner is going to be our next victim of the broadcast curse so moonshiner with a way better entrance into turn one than he had on his uh best lap so far already one second up so that's going to put him into the 44s a little bit of a struggle through turn three uh, it's going to cost him some time but if he can keep the pace through turn four he can get it right back uh, pace he does, time he does not. We'll see if he can grab a little something here. Going past Mothers into turn five. Big sweeping left-hander. Gives him a nice opportunity here. The, loses the rear end, and that's going to cause his delta to dive back down. And still going down, still going down. We'll see if he can find a little more acceleration here. Looks like he was a little bit more gutsy this time around into the Rahal straight than on his previous best. He'll need to find some serious time through the corkscrew if he wants to try and make his way into the top 10. Got about four seconds to find at some point through the rest of this lap. Point seven off his time now. Hopefully there was a little bit of a spin. Oh, on a previous lap but unfortunately we do find a spin on this lap as well we'll try and grab in with these two and as we do that's gonna be a spin from dave bob does seem to have cost jay a little bit of time in the battle so he's not gonna improve enough to hit that 37 just yet patchy moves just ahead of speed bump uh i'm oh, sorry I might have said speed bump earlier. I meant Jay. Uh, but either way, patching me just ahead of speed bump by 0.07. Ooh, now by a full 0.2. It's like he heard that we were talking about him. Mo Powers and Kiagolski kind of battling it out. Only 0.05 separating them at the moment. Asha Charmer is at a 154. Damn it. Uh, the final position on the grid at the moment. What's up, Ram? Nice to see you again. Miss you on these grids, bud. Although we don't have the high speed anymore, so I don't know how much you'll like it. Well, we got Formula Mazda this week, so that'd be your bread and butter. Ooh, a little style points for Mr. Project Purple there. He manages to get off the grid, lets Bo Ls go through. He's having a bit of a struggle as he tries to get through an outlap here, so 
We'll let him do just that. I think the man behind him, Brendan Diaz. So he's also fighting to get into the top 10, currently rocking the Marlboro Mo livery. I gave Mo Power some luck in season two, the gold version, not as much in season three. So see if maybe there's still some luck in the red. Going through turn six, definitely finding a little bit of time on his delta. He's got to get two seconds off right. his time in the final sector. He's coming up at the end of sector two now. Looking for a good clean entrance and exit through the corkscrew. Drops into second. And seems to be just about the same as he did on his hot lap. Finds a bit more time through Rainy, though. As he approaches turn 10 with some speed, so not too so much, man, just to keep it on the track. So he's got one second down now. Hopefully he can find a, something here with a big turn through 11. Oh, and he seems to lose a ton of acceleration. So not sure where he's lost all that time. Six seconds separating him between the top pack. And the first one to hit the 37s is going to be Kia Golski with a 137.8. Took me long enough to realize it that he's actually gonna turn that into a 137.5 or 137.4 as he locks that in just a little bit more there. Wow, we got a couple of heavy hitters here to play. It seems the 138s are spoken for top to bottom. Dave Bob trying to creep his way in. Mogo not too far behind him. Got a big pack grouping together in the 141s right now as well as the 142s seems like we'll have some action all around moonshiner sit with the 145 twos got to find something we'll take a peek in as kia continues to find more and more time see if he can somehow end up with a 46 moonshiner and marui struggling to get past each other i think both looking for a nice clean lap marui did have the pace but uh, as according to the leaderboard. Ooh, and Marui with a big late dive here. That'll give Moonshiner a chance. Oh, and that's going to be big contact. Four minutes left of Qual. These guys are in a tricky spot. Yeah, and unfortunately, when you're watching from the outside, you can really see those incidents well, but... A little bit harder in the car and they do confirm 17 on the grid so they're a little bit bigger than their eu counterparts earlier today we'll see how many finish the race though as uh eu guys were resilient i think they did finish race two with 13 still going strong don't remember fully but definitely a good showing by the boys across the pond i think patchy ended up taking that one but uh not 100% positive. JT Ped starting to lose a little bit of time as he approaches the corkscrew with a little bit of speed. Not quite enough, though. Drops off the throttle hard. And that'll be Marui trying to catch up to him. Gives himself a little bit of a goal, something to do. Let's check in with our man from across the pond, Patchy. So he doesn't look like he's on top of it this lap, but he's got probably two more in the bag. Hopefully he's got enough fuel, but oh, excellent. Gained a lot of time there. He must have had a little bit of brush up with the sand on his current hot lap. But definitely going to shave another tenth off here. Not quite going to be enough to join into the 37s or take P2, but... He's got someone in front of him he can maybe catch a toe off of. It's going to be tricky into turn one here. Marui's going to have to take this with enough pace to give Patchy room to move. Ooh, and he gets out of the way indeed, but Patchy, I think, watching out for himself, took a different line than he's used to. Loses a little bit of time, but not too much. Able to make it up on the entrance into turn three. Turn four coming up as he swings in with some speed. You see he's full on the throttle there. No lift. Two tenths now off his time. He needs to gain about a tenth and a half. Oh, ooh, loses a lot of time and acceleration. That's not going to be the one. We'll let him get around. We'll see if we can do one more here. 
He's got enough time. Let's check in on Jay, also trying to get in. He's with three tenths off his time currently, so I don't think he's going to be getting it there. Kia trying to set a new hot lap. A little bit of traffic will cause him to uh, swing out of the way. Speed bump going to be sitting back and taking it easy. All right, so it doesn't look like anyone's really putting up a fight for that 37 just yet. We'll see if Patchy can swing, make something happen when he swings back around. See, he's the number one car. All right, well, he's coming around the final bend, so we'll keep eyes with him. This is going to be his last lap, starting with a little bit of tra uh, traffic in front of him, but should be at least a decent tow. And he gets to start fresh. If he can get past Moonshiner cleanly without losing too much time, he stands a chance. It's going to be tricky. Two very different lines. Patchy managing to hold his well. Oh, and I think the traffic is going to do it for him. He's letting off just a little bit to try and get a cleaner line through. And he's got a pull. So that's going to be it. And the final lap of qual, you've got two guys trying to get a clean one in. Moonshiner, though, does need it a lot more than Patchy does. He's sitting at the very bottom of the leaderboard. He's trying to get through. Both racers are going to have to give each other space. Moonshiner manages to hang off of the dirt, and Patchy goes through. Moonshiner gains a good amount of time, though, so we'll see if he can make something happen around the next two turns. Got to find half a second more to squeeze the position away from Leprechaun. <laughs> Heading up the straight with a little bit more speed. See how he fares in the corkscrew. And cuts it well. He's got a lot of acceleration, tons of time gained there. So if he can hold on, you've seen him struggle before in this uh, turn 13, or sorry, turn 10. And wide again he goes. That turn 10 really is the killer. It's just such a tough angle. We do see Patchy going around trying to get another lap in. Kia is looking to gain a little bit more time if he can. See, he's not too far off from the line, so we'll see if he can maybe make something happen. Ooh, just a little bit of a touch of the grass. Dave Bob there, not going to be able to get a better time either. Let's see if Whippa can make something happen. Two tenths ahead on his time. He is not too far away from Dave Bob's time. He's got to find another two tenths now. He just lost a bit into Rainey. Oh, this is going to be a very tough entrance. He's not going to make it happen, I don't think so. Bo L is also sitting off to the side. Looks like Ostrich just finished his. Marui, I think, not going to get one either. So that is going to be our starting grid. Reverse grid for race two. So we'll have definitely some interesting opportunities there. But... Kia Golski, Jay, and the man from across the pond, Patchy, will be leading us off. Excellent showing there. Speed bump not too far off his time. Really feeling the heat, though, from Dave, Wibba, Mogo, and Mo. So that is second position all the way out to eighth in the 138s. Doesn't get too much closer than that. Only 200 separating Mogo and Mo, so that'll be a nice battle there. I uh, got a few instances like that with the 141 squad real tight together. And Bo Ellis might be in no man's land, sitting three tenths up from Brennan Diaz behind him. And Mo Pow is in front, ironically sandwiched by the Marlboro Mo liveries. <sighs> I'll have to keep an eye over here, though. This is what's going to be interesting. The wind and the temperature always play into effect a little bit more during the actual race start. Well, uh, wish the boys a little bit of luck before we head into the race, though. And I know these guys have their overtime period to get their shit together. Has anybody looked at the fucking timings? No. Why? Second position all the way down to eighth is in the 138s. 10th position oh, all the way down to 15 is in the 141s. It's spicy. They're going to be some, some battles. I'm using the setup I stole from Mo. Bo might end up in a no man's land here. 
if I can hold the line. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in you, boys. Kia threw his setup in. Yes, Paul. If anyone wants to change it up for the race with no <laughs> practice, like Wally said, oh, wait. Oh. Or you could think of race one as practice for race two. Because reverse grip. Setup is like what any fuel? different at all. Enough to finish. Oh crap! How much fuel do we need? Sixteen. I don't. I don't calculate it. Okay. Is it like? I think it's always like yeah, like let's say like twenty some odd. I'm doing 19. I'm, I'm doing... so slow because it's telling me 16 gets me 12.9 laps. <laughs> yeah. I need to spend more time at Redline. <laughs> Alright, are we in overtime right now? This is gonna be spicy. No, it's the countdown. Okay, cool. It's the final countdown. Nice. It's the final. Oh, oh crap. Oh, oh, crap. Sorry, <laughs> bro. <laughs> sorry. Maybe so, How much know, time is left old on old the old countdown old. or whatever? Ten seconds. Okay, cool. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Hey, four, yeah, a little more. What was that? Eight, and there's gonna be another uh, countdown too. Yeah, yeah. Love it. All right, but how much are you guys running? I'm gonna run seventeen. I'm doing nineteen. All right, that means I need to be twenty-one. <laughs> hey, you can never be too sure. I, I have, I basically did not gone a straight line. Oh shit, here we go. Good here luck, we uh... come. Wait, what? Good luck, everybody. Thank you, thank you. My stats are atrocious, so honestly, Ajay, you're probably gonna get me there. I see that we just go at lap one and not race, then after that, when there's a gap, then we can race. No? If cargo. Okay, everybody. Alright. Away we go. So we end up with a 17 man grid to start. Kia Golski going straight down, leading the pack strong. He's got Jay and Patchy looking for a way around yeah, him already. Big group in here heading into turn one. We'll see. Going to be a lot of different breaking points. Hopefully, they can all adjust. Oh, yeah. First big contact in the back. We see JT Peds is the one to get clipped. Goes spinning out wide, but rejoins. We'll let the grid go by here in turn two, see if we get any oh, more shit. action, oh. which we do. Project oh. and Leprechaun. Oh. Sorry, if that was on me. I'm sorry. So they keep on moving. Looks like we got the Marlboro with a little bit of contact together. So that's going to be two more down and out of the way. 19 minutes left. Not a lot of time to make up. Moonshiner looking for a spot here on Bo, which he finds. Looks like pack one is starting to move and pack two is going to have to reform in the back here. So we'll move up to Kia Golski. He's got Patchy looking for a move here, which he I finds. <laughs> I think Kia may have gone a little bit too far on the outside. So that gave Dave Bob a chance and Patchy a chance. They're all going to have to make something happen through the corkscrew. A little bit of contact with Jay and Speed Bump. Both managed to keep moving. I think Mo Powers and Leprechaun had a little bit of a spin out through turn... Uh, or through the turn into the rail straight. You've got Patchy moving, Dave, Kia, Jay, and Wibba behind them. A real close grouping up here in the front. Uh, we've got battles all around. I see Mopow at the back here, so he's going to be starting to zero to hero challenge. Kia Golski going to be trying to get at least P2 back here on this straight. We do see a little bit of side-by-side -side action going on in the back as well. Group 2 has almost fully formed behind. We're going to check in with them in just a second. Kia tries to move a little closer on Dave Bob for the squeeze, but Dave Bob holds his line. Both racers keep moving through, and Wibba manages to pull a clean switch on Jay. Jay's going to try and find another chance to do so. Uh, to get that spot back right here, he'll pull Nose along in four. And a little contact oh, no. with the curb. Oh, is going to send Mogo into his okay. rear bumper. Mogo keeps moving, but so Stop does Jay. Hopefully the racers didn't take on too much damage. We got Packy still leading like with Dave and Kia trying to make something happen there. 
Speed Bump and Mogo side by side. Looks like Mogo's gonna try and make something happen. I think these guys are gonna need to pick a battle, which they do. They give each other a lot of space, but they're gonna start to lose some time to the men in front. Gives Bo a chance to catch. I think Kia actually may have just made a move into the corkscrew, which he did. So Dave Bob does fall back to Kia there. Speed Bump is staying in front of Mogo for the time being. And manages no, to keep no. going through Rainy. It looks like, oh, we tune in at quite the time. Project, Brendan, and JT all have a massive, massive move. I'm not entirely positive what we watch there. I think uh, we might have our wrecking ball here in the purple 23. Not entirely positive, uh, but it does seem to so, be a so lot of incidents around this right. one. Ostrich and Bo big looks big like big Ostrich big managed big to big wrestle big the big position big away. We'll see if Bo goes for yeah, a late move cool. here. I need to see the nope, though. goes to hold his line. Yeah. Definitely a good time to tune in into like him there. We've got these guys in at least a decent pack. You see 14th place Mo like Powers holding off the, the uh, that, like, was, oh, we'll call him the chaos group from what we just saw, but it may have been just a uh, pure luck of the draw type of situation. Kia Golski looks like creeping up on Patchy and T1, but Bo Ellis also trying to make a move here on Ostrich. We'll see who gets to make a move first. Looks like yeah, Bo is not going to go so just cool. yet, so we'll take a look up front. We see Patchy and Kia starting to move a little bit away from Dave Bob and Wibba. Wibba's going to go for it into the corkscrew, oh, but can't find the right angle, so he'll have to pull back in behind Dave Bob. And look for another opportunity. Kia and Patchy still battling it out. Kia biding his time. Dave Bob with a little bit of a wide turn there. Going to let Wibba stay close on, but not give him enough of a chance just yet. Looks like Kai may have had a spin, but I see Mogo looking to make something happen with Project Perp. Oh, ball. <laughs> okay. Back up to the top. Kia Golski looking to finally reclaim his P1 position. It's been a few laps since he's got the chance. And he goes at least for a switch. He's going to take the inside away through Andretti on Patchy. But Patchy will have a little bit more acceleration, so he'll be able to jump back in front for turn three. He'll dictate the pace leading into four, but that's where it opens back up. So if Kia can stay close, he might be able to ride that draft through which so far he is. We'll see if he can at least get close enough to make a late move into uh, turn five. Nothing doing just yet. We do see Jay thinking about a similar opportunity on speed bump in the rear. As we watch and we don't see anything from Kia just yet, it's this corkscrew that I want to see if he can make something happen. And I know he takes that thing with some speed. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I'm sorry, bro. And not quite enough speed. That's going to let Patchy continue keeping up his pace. So only a couple tenths away. Jay looks like still looking for an opportunity on speed bump in front. Of course, as I turn away, I think... Oh, Kia was looking for it, but know. might have had a spin. Kia now 2.9 seconds away from Patchy in front, or 1.6. A little hard to tell. I think I see him up front. So, decent group in here. These guys are all pretty close together from P1 all the way down to P6. A little bit of a gap there to the rest of the grid. We'll see Mogo and Mo Pow is fighting here uh, as they wrap up lap four. See if Mo Powers can maybe get a little bit further along. Mo Powers was in the expert class last season and had a real good showing. Mogo in the class below, but I, or actually he might have been in the expert class as well. It's hard to tell. So many seasons. And that's a nice little shot there. You can see the leaders actually coming around turn four. So these guys have some work to do as they swing around and dready. It's a big gap between them. Looks like Brennan Diaz might be looking for a shot here on Marui. But a 
difference in lines and breaking points is not going to give him the chance. We do see JT Pez and Project Purple together once more. These guys do have a history, and it's not really a pretty one. JT Pez, though, might take care of that himself, but no, manages to cling on. Wheel screeching on the track, I'm sure. Rui goes a little trip to the beach, but decides he's more interested in the tarmac. Certainly better for his overall lap time. And do still hear Brendan Diaz behind him. Oh, no, me and you. <laughs> We're both going so hard. And I think uh, a little bit of a beach visit by Mogo and Mo Powers as well. Kia Golski, I think, going to be going for a move here. Down the final straight, he is. So we'll see if he can finally get that spot away. He's thought about it a few times. This might be his final, his first good opportunity. Both racers, very similar lines through there. Patchy might get a little more acceleration because he's coming from a deeper uh, exit. But Kia does a good job of dictating the pace through three. He'll have to hang on through turn four, make sure that he can uh, keep his distance. Patchy starting to creep just a little bit. You can see that draft coming into play. Ooh, and Patchy with a nice late breaking point. Kia clutch shuts the door just in time through turn five. As they head for Rahal straight. Ooh, Patchy takes a little trip into the dirt. He does manage to save it. That's going to cost him a ton of time to uh, speed, or sorry, to Kia Golski ahead. We'll see if he can keep his cool through the corkscrew now. That is a little shot at the confidence. But keep his cool, he does. So he's got Dave Bob behind him, 1.2 seconds away, but he's back on track. We'll see if he can make up those two seconds to Kia in front. We've got Kai and Moonshiner, it looks like, looking for a chance. Or Moonshiner might have gone a little bit wide, it seems, as Kai's safely past him now. Mogo and Ostrich Farmer heading side by side towards the corkscrew. That is always a recipe for success, never disaster. Oh, shit, shit, shit. As disaster strikes, unbelievable. I could not have seen that coming. Anyway, Ostrich now rejoins the track in 10th position. Okay. Mo Powers does gain good. a position in that move. In, man. Uh, manages to stay now my, within uh, five tenths of Mogo in front of him. Do you see Jay, Speed Bump, and Wibba all very close together. That's Dave Bump and Patchy place. as well. Tons of action. Let's take a look over here at the shuffle. We see Jay did take the move. Uh, he made a pass on Wibba through turn bit. three. So you see Speed Bump now falling a little bit behind. Wibba's going to try and keep that door closed through out. four. <laughs> Pushes Jay, but leaves the space. Jay was going to have to hug him a little bit tight. That's a tough turn there, but Jay's going to keep uh, on the track. Speed bump now alongside a little bit of contact there between him and Wibba, but speed manages to keep moving as Wibba tries to go for the squeeze, but unfortunately does not work out. We do see Marui, Project, and JT Peds all together once more. I'll have to see. It looks like Marie is going to be trying to make a move, but I want to see what happens in this corkscrew as all three of these guys take good long or good late breaking points. And that they do. I think we had a little bit of contact there between Marui and Project Purple. Oh, no, no. Oh, and it looks like Mo goes a little bit wide through turn six into the straight. Trying to take a look at the action. Well, Take a peek, speed bump, holding off Wibba and Jay behind him. Jay now going to get a chance, I think, at the turn one, as he's probably within the draft or just outside of it for Wibba in front. Yeah. He's going to have to make something happen on the brakes alone. He won't get close enough to pull in. Goes for a little bit of a bigger dive. We'll see if that acceleration helps him enough through the first couple turns here. Mr. Do you see Dave Bob? being held off at a roughly the same spot. So him and Patchy are lapping pretty close together. Kia Golski on pace now for a hot lap, or sorry, his previous lap was a hot lap at a 137.1. So that is the bar to beat. Trying to keep our eye on Wibba behind him and Jay battling it out. Jay is tight to his tail. 
A little bit of contact with the beach. Can't find a way through. Damn, just to channel Alonzo. And that's strong. <laughs> and really pushing the limits of the car there. He's trying to find a way past him, and he just can't make something happen just yet. I got Mogo looking for a move here on Bo Ellis. So we're going to tune away for just a second. See if he can make something happen. Although, of course, the minute I do that, Jay finally looks for the opportunity on Wibba. So we'll bounce back over as they head through Rainy with some speed. Ooh, and a little bit of a bump draft there. Jay gives him a nudge, gives him some extra speed, though, towards turn one. So that could help him his overall time. We'll see if Jay can make something happen, though. He's starting to drift back a little bit. Mogo, on the other hand, hot to uh, Bo Il's rear bumper. We'll see if he can get around him there. I think he's going to look for the dive in on turn 14. Sorry, turn 11. Wow. Miss Catlin like a motherfucker. Nice. <clears throat> Battle for the lead was definitely phenomenal at the beginning there. We'll see if they can make something happen. Mogo, I think, is going to hold on to that spot. Mopau is a little further away, so he'll have to try and fight later on. And we see a lot of different action going. It's, it's hard to know when to switch. We don't want to miss out on anyone's passing opportunities. We even got the boys in the back staying pretty close together. We do see the leader starting to catch up, though, so laugh traffic will become a factor at some point. Mogo and Bo trying to battle it out here, but that is helping Mo out. He's already gained a tenth. Looks like Jay actually might be going for another chance on Wibba into the corkscrew this time. This is going to be a dangerous one. Little bit of contact, but both racers managed to stay on. Jay is holding that lane there, and it's going to force Wibba to pull back just a little bit so he doesn't lose his line into turn 10. Jay closes the door through it, so he's going to get ahead of him now. We'll see if he can hold the position. Wibba's going to go for a late one. Ooh, and Jay narrowly avoids contact, diving in just in time. I'll give him a much better line into the next lap here, so he's got 1.2 seconds uh between them looks like it's about one second between all of our racers at this point now or at least all the close battles or though I, as i say that mo powers looks to make a move on Bo into turn 11. we'll see if he uses the draft to his advantage here <coughs> man there's so much action i'm kind of losing it looks like jt peds and marui have a little bit of a spin Gives them the opportunity to fight it out with a uh, moonshiner in between them. <laughs> Dropping all my shit. So this right here is the battle for the moment. Give it some time. I'm sure someone else will end up side by side as well. Bo Els, though. A little trip into the sand gives Mo the opportunity he was looking for. And the question is, is that going to be enough to get him through? Now sitting in P8, got to get back up to his battle with Mogo, sitting three seconds ahead of him. Roughly three laps left. <laughs> Thank you, Ram. <clears throat> Keeping our eye on the boards there, we got Dave Bob still trying to creep back into range on Patchy in front, but it's not finding the time to do so. Jay, ooh. Oh, okay, that was Leprechaun the there, it seems like, like who was spun out. So this is the lap traffic starting to come into play the for the uh, middle it. of the lead. And that's sending me off track even more, and it's weird. We'll take a look in a second or two here once Kia starts to get a little bit but closer to like the uh, grouping in front. Yeah, Mo Powers actually the hits the so dirt himself, so that's going to give Bo an opportunity. He'll take a lead drive because I think he saw the slip up. Oh, uh, all right. So not, not too bad. I thought Mo was going to have another slip up there, bring them closer together, but back to the one second gaps between everybody. So it gives us a chance to look around the grid. We've got Leprechaun holding up the rear, but holding up strong. I like it because he's got a little bit of green in his car, whether he meant to or not. 
looking with a clean line there through the Andretti hairpin. You see he's already up on his Delta, so looking pretty good. We'll take a look next at Kai with the purple and gold, another one that I actually like as well. A little bit of broadcaster's curse through the straight. Oh, and we're going to let him lap in peace. JT Peds now looks like he's looking for an opportunity on Moonshiner in front. He's drafting or looking to get into that drafting opportunity. We'll uh, jump up to the two of them though, because Moonshiner might have a chance for a pass as we get pretty close. And he's not getting close enough just yet. I think he'll have an opportunity in the next couple turns if he can just stay on his line. He's doing a good job. He's already up a little bit on his delta. Let's take a look at the board. Ooh, Marui does have a much faster, faster lap or fa top lap than Moonshiner, but this could be his chance. If he can just mirror the man in front, he might be able to make something happen. Uh, and he keeps it in fifth gear through turn five, and I think that's going to be his undoing as Marui pulls safely away, still in fifth through turn six. And that will be the end of that opportunity, I believe, for now. We'll see if he can maybe make something happen later on. Moving a little bit for... Ooh, I think we actually have Marui go into the dirt as we said that, so we'll see if that gives Shiner the opportunity he was looking for. There's a little bit of slow and steady wins the race he was thinking of. I believe that turtle in the hair worked out. He is now fresh on his bumper, going through turn 10 with some speed. Definitely has a little bit better acceleration. If he can make some kind of play out of turn 11, pulls back to carry his line, but I think it's going to be enough. These guys back to neck and neck. I wonder if that's what happened last lap as you see him side by side again and hang on a minute we've got kia and patchy only five seconds left are they gonna cross the line they are they're gonna get one more lap to figure this out oh something God. happened <laughs> kia golski run out of fuel oh he didn't know there was one more lap oh oh my god Oh shit, I thought that was the final lap, bro. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I feel, my heart goes out to Kia. My heart goes out to Kia. I had to take a second to just process what I just saw. Um, basically, for those who couldn't hear, Kia thought it was the last lap. He uh, even congratulated Batchy and then realized he was still in the fight, but it is gonna cost him a few positions. I don't think that it's gonna get him the chance. We've got Patchy though, leading the grid now. I know he wanted it and I know he might've deserved it even too with the performance there, but I know this is not the way he wanted it. So hopefully race two, reverse grid, those guys will get an opportunity to duke it out one more and Patchy can show us what the boys at Pilots the Pond can really do, but fantastic battle here. He's going to go past Moonshiner, and that'll actually help him out. <laughs> the Dave Bomb. Oh, I'll have to look for that in race two. Patchy with a beautiful win. Well done. At the end of the day, it's real rookie racing, as Kia says himself there. Crosses the line, P4. Looks like Mo Powers is still looking for a little bit of a chance here. We'll oh, see. He's 0.7 away from Mogo in front. Those guys agreed not to switch places, but that doesn't mean they won't try at the end. Wibba crossing the line in a safe P6. Looks like Brennan Diaz goes out to the pits. Mo Powers is going to honor their agreement not to switch spots. No, 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 no. My tire is just like, for some reason, just eight. Look, you are going to be spicy. Good one. And we then have JT yeah, Peds, Bo Ellis, Patchy had a phenomenal race. He had, no, a, he had a mid race he, slump in performance. I thought he had a 
Kai coming across the line. Almost gives up a kind of chance there, but he manages to hang on. We do see Project trying to find one more spot here. Not going to be able to, though, on Ostrich as they will continue to go through. And then a little bit of a gap here, but one that we will follow as we set our eyes on Mr. Marui coming across through the corkscrew for the final racer uh, leading us into race two let me uh, let them know what's going on here uh so you can join once it starts the one minute countdown to race two that's it doesn't let you join during the actual like uh what's it called like the actual overtime or whatever it's called so just keep an eye on the live timings, and once it refreshes for race two, you're good to go, basically, if that makes sense. Big go, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Uh -uh. Emma Rui across the line to end the first... Ooh. <laughs> nice little bowling opportunity there. Maru across the line for a beautiful end to uh, race one. Yeah, Let sorry. things wrap up there before base joins. I'll be back in just a moment. Bro, I, bro, I got I got pinched by uh, two different cars uh, going into the pork strike. I want to see the replay. That was. Like, no, that was a good race. Yeah, I agree. I honestly, I almost had you there. Yeah, you actually got very close, considering you were like four seconds behind going into the lap. That was. Uh... Did you Not spin? Much. Did you spin out a little bit, or? Uh, I went wide on turn like five or something. That like big right hander. Oh. Damn, you ran a one thirty seven. Yeah, if, if, if I if I had like one or two more laps, I maybe could have gotten you. Probably, yeah. It was. Uh, I was winding down. Dull. One thirty countdown. For whomever was like. You can join in base. Base? I gotta say, I had like way too much fuel in. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Well, well I know they can't hear me, but man, one incredible race by these guys there. It sounds like we have a new challenger approaching for race two. Base Cannon, we'll see where they put him on the grid. I think they send them straight to the back if they were not a finisher in race one. Brennan Sorry, Diaz again, again and thought the race was over. Uh, LMAO Apache. Kia Golski. So unfortunate, but it's all right. That's why we have two races. The reverse grid is what really adds to the action. If you thought there was some contact race one, don't forget the chaotic trio, JT, Marui, and Project Purple will be, I believe, up towards the front, I think, in the third and fourth row. If you don't know, like, absent a tune and test. If you don't know, now you know, my friend. Front toe all the way up, rear toe all the way down, and that is apparently a very good starting absent all of the You said my windshield cracked. What'd you say, boss? Hold up. About the... Wind... Oh, sorry. Hold up. My windshield is cracked. The fuck? <laughs> Hold up. Oh, it seems Hold like it. they're on the I'm grid already. I'm coming right back, don't you worry. Without a cracked windshield. <laughs> Buggy's just fucking with you. Alright, so it looks like he one was? came off the grid. No. Yeah, Buggy just take low and thought the race was over. <laughs> LMAO Apache. Wait, Mo, how are you in front? Uh, Project Purple is back in, Yo, do I leading us again? off. Why back in the pits? Uh, hold on. Let me just do this. Hello. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, cool. All right, I fixed it for everybody. Um, is base getting in? He is in. So we've got quite the grid. I think we got 17 oh, men on. I'm still, uh, my CSP is like broken right now. Oh no. I think Leprechaun is in the pit. I hope he's like fried. So let me do stuff on Discord but not in the uh, content manager on my taskbar either. 
Okay, so he's got an issue loading in. Let me see something. Yeah, it was, uh, first it was Did you download the extended grid thing? Yeah. Okay, I was just make sure. The second uh, error I just got was a CSP thing, apparently. Interesting. It should still let him join just because he was in already, but uh, we're going to grab onto Maru there. Project Purple with one hell of a start to race two, so he's going to get out front oh, dude, no and be feedback. their race leader. The fuck? Seems no force feedback for speed bump there. <laughs> oh, a little bit of contact as Leprechaun comes out of the pits. What the fuck? I have no force feedback. Ooh, and I gets real. I just lost my wheel. Yeah, okay. Is, I think all right, all right. Broke when he restarted. Okay. I'm gonna. I need to. I need to disconnect and reconnect, buggy. Who got out of pits? That would be me. It sent me into the pits at a random time, um, like, like 20 seconds into seconds. the countdown. Yeah. It just sent me into the Serenity guys not active okay. equal land thought the yeah, race was good. over LMAO oh, Apache. Sorry. No, you're all good. All right, let's try this again. Yeah. We didn't have a restart race one, so I was right. You, you know, we didn't have a restart race one, so you know, that makes sense. Um, if, if it starts you guys in the pits, just uh, start from the pits on this one, I guess. Speed, are you back in? Yep. Leprechaun, yeah, are you getting in? in? But it feels weird. What the fuck? So weird. Yeah, my game just crashed. What the All right. Well, we'll see if Leprechaun can get in. He can always rejoin just a lap down and we can account what we've got. Project Purple Marui leading us off. Project Purple with a, another great start to it. Looks like oh, things are all set for speed bump in the back. We've got the full 16 man grid rolling through now. See if anyone joins oh, on no, late. Oh, oh big <laughs> chaos in the back there. It seems like with Moonshiner, Brendan Diaz. Let's see, a little bit more contact there, but everyone man just to stay together. Ooh, until one more big spin. Looks like maybe Mogo takes the brunt of that one. A little spin out by Ostrich, sends some racers wide. Uh, with the grid man just to hang on. We're gonna pull up for a second and see how everyone gets through turn four little bit of racers on the dirt we see group two brendan diaz seems to have maybe some uh lag incident there not entirely positive what we launched seems like speed bump though working his way through the grid we'll see if mogo can get a pass on moonshiner here which he does and starts to work his way up on the main group. Oh, Broadcaster's Curse strikes as we see Kai and Marui go flying back. JT Pez now coming up on the corkscrew where we see the lead grouping going through. Wibba in front. That's actually a good spot for him. He's got a lot of pace, so if he can start building a gap as these guys work their way through traffic, might be able to make something happen. Speed bump gets through Ostrich in front as we keep our eyes on the grid from behind we'll start to move a little bit we've got ooh, a little bit of contact with patchy and kia through turn 11 nothing too crazy though the racers keep moving speed bump right behind them now trying to stick with the pack these guys all want to move up together <clears throat> mo pow is now looking for an opportunity it looks like you can see up ahead on your screens he doesn't find the angle quite yet nobody's gonna get a pass through turn one they're gonna have to keep looking jay i think is gonna be the next one to try something as you see him hot on the heels of kia golski i think they're all kind of waiting to see if patchy can ride them up to the main group but patchy goes wide that's gonna give kia a chance Ooh, it's patchy actually closes the door on him kia's gonna take a little bit of a, a dive on the inside there We'll see if he can hang on through turn five. I think he sees the move from Patchy coming, which he does, and manages to switch back with him. Now, these guys are going to have to figure something out. You got Mo trying to work with Project, which he does, and manages to squeeze through. So he'll be the first one to get on the chase to Wibba ahead. 
Kia has a little bit of a slow turn around six. And this is a big group going into the corkscrew all at once. And the chaos evens itself out. We end up with, oh, four wide does not though. So Kia takes the brunt at the last second. I spoke too soon. Oh man. So Kia, oh, ends up leaving the race, unfortunately. It is a shame. There's a lot of race left. I think he still would be able to hang on, but it seems like a lot more contact in the back there. This group is very tight together, but maybe too tight together for their own good. We're just going to lean back for a second here and see what happens at turn one. Can we get another four wide? I do see everybody looking for their opportunity ostrich thinking about it but pulls back at the last second gives jt pez an opportunity to glue onto his bumper through turn one we'll see through turn three how they fare Ooh, and bo ells takes a little trip into the sand that's going to cost him a position maybe two as everyone's looking to carry the speed through turn four we'll let speed bump run ahead as we keep an eye on the pack JT looking for his opportunity now. He picks an interesting lane. He's going to get blocked in by Project there. Ostrich tries to clear the lane for him. We've got Bo Ells going wide. Gives us a three wide through turn five. JT is going to pull ahead. Hopefully Ostrich can do the same. He's gunning it. Project going to give him the space. Make sure that everyone gets an opportunity through. But that is going to give Ostrich and JT a clean gap to him. I do see up front Jay looking for a move on Patchy. You've got Ostrich Farmer with a beautiful dive in there. He's holding his move. Ooh, Project with a little bit of an issue though. Manages to miss the wall and gets back on the track. That's actually an excellent recovery. We'll see what, if he loses another spot to Moonshiner. These guys are going to go side by side. Project manages to keep it off the dirt. Can he hang on? He's just got to push a little bit harder here. Holds the inside through turn 11. That'll give Marui the chance to move in. Moonshine with a quick flick as Marui spins out, unfortunately, behind them. Project, though, is going to start to move forward. So it's taking a look around. The next closest battle we've got is Jay and Patchy. These guys have some real similar lap times, typically, though. We'll see what they can make happen through turn four. Jay now only five tenths away. JT Peds as well, looking for the move on Ostrich. Ooh, Moonshiner and Project actually having a little battle of their own. As Moonshiner back within three tenths, JT Pez and Jay. Got three guys looking for their opportunities. Moonshiner's gonna fall back just a little bit. So we'll take another look at JT Pez. Will he try for something through turn five? He tries, but unfortunately finds not one, but two trips to the beach. That might give Bo Ells the opportunity he's looking for. Really moving up on him with some speed. If he can carry it in through turn six, he'll be golden. Oh, but he goes a little bit wide. So that's going to give Moonshiner and Project the pass on him as he takes a little trip to the beach. Moonshiner might go for something through the corkscrew here. Oh, pulls back, so we won't see anything too exciting. Probably for the best, as the last time we saw some action through here, uh, we saw one of our racers end up leaving the grid. Jay, though, might get his chance finally on Patchy, heading down the final straight into lap five, I believe. Jay's definitely going to get a nose out. Can he make something of the move? Patchy's going to go for the switch back, but Jay hangs close to the inside and closes that door through Andretti. They both have eyes on Mo Powers in front. You can see the leader not too far ahead. We'll try and grab onto Patchy so we can keep an eye on all four racers here. Speed bump, only four seconds away. If these guys start to battle, he can easily make up that time. 12 minutes remaining. I think Patchy might look for something here through turn five. Not quite yet. He's really doing his best. You can see Jay and him are way too similar in line there. <laughs> Patchy is, I believe, the only member representing the EU today. So he's got a little bit of extra pressure on him. Strong results from race one. So he's 
just technically, I think, has to make it to P2 with the current standings. A beautiful line through the corkscrew. Ooh, a little brush up with the dirt is going to let Jay hang on to the bumper, but he'll hold the position for now. Jay's going to pull alongside him into Rainy. Oh, and Patchy with a nice squeeze there is going to let him hang on into turn 10. He'll finish the lap in P4. But Jay still going to be close enough to catch a draft, and they might have to do this all over again. We'll find out here. Patchy, ooh, a little bit of Broadcaster's Curse strikes there. But Jay has to wiggle to avoid it. We've got Brendan Diaz now. Looks like he passed JT Pez. I believe JT had a little bit of a spin. Kai and Leprechaun also unfortunately leaving the race. Uh, right now, this is where the action is, though. The battle for P4. It is costing these guys a little bit of time to mow powers, though, as they are 2.8 seconds away from the man in front. All fine and dandy, depending on how the standings lie. This is a two-race battle, so all of it does get taken into account. Kiyagolski is not around to snap up the lap or fastest lap at the moment. I believe that title currently rests with Jay, just shy of a 137. We'll see if Patchy can make something happen here, though. He's not too far off it himself. Jay clinging on to the bumper. Do you see Project Purple starting to creep into range on Ostrich, so we'll keep an eye on that and see if maybe he can make a move in for P7 shortly. Right, Those guys. We have a little bit more time to catch you this time. Let's see what happens. This is true. I think I now have a draft on you, though. And Jay still looking for his move as they head through Rainy, so... Patchy is going to finish up, I believe, another the lap camera, in front. Road is so scary. But again, Jay's going to be close enough to try and make something happen through turn one. These guys are really just trading opportunities. And they are slowly finding a little bit more time back on the Mopawas in P2. But I don't know. As the clock keeps sticking here. They are losing their chances. I know Jay's going to try for something, so we'll stick with it. But I do see Project looking for his opportunity as well. We'll see if Jay can make something happen. Patchy did manage to pull a little bit further away this time, though, so he'll keep the spot through. Uh, it's at 4 a.m. for Patchy. Jeez. Well, that's one hell of an effort for 4 a.m. And considering this is actually his fourth race of the day with quite a full grid, so... That's definitely some iron effort there from him. I know these guys are a little bit further apart, but we'll take a look at the battle that's been going on through uh, uh, Andretti now. Ostrich and Project Purple. The 23 chasing down. I want to say that's like the Harbor Freight Car. <laughs> Bo L's P10. P6 currently belongs to Mogo. I think I am P6. Yeah. And Mogo took that personally. Oh, Project looks for it. He actually gains a couple tenths there. As Ostrich goes wide. Ah, oh, but the bump draft is going to help him out. Sorry. So they're going to keep yeah, moving bad. through. I on that anyways. If anything, that was my fault. Well, I wasn't expecting it to go wide. And it actually helps them to keep moving along. So that is a yeah, nice yeah. showing. But, but hey, we'll take a look that. around the grid. JT Pez hanging in there. Yeah, Only 20 time seconds time. back. He's made uh, some good progress since race one. Uh, heading through turn four now. Looks like he's catching up on his delta. Oh, and his actually way better fastest lap than uh, in race one. So you can definitely see the improvements from the 29 car there in the number two or one of the number two cars we've got brendan diaz heading through the corkscrew with speed he's got five seconds sorry four seconds to ostrich ahead of him he has crept up a couple of times so we'll see if he can get back within that range uh looks like we may have had an incident up front wibba now only two tenths away from mo powers we were going to go around the grid here but we might have a battle for p1 Gotta go for a couple See laps. what happens. Patchy looking for his shot. Not going to find it. Wibbo with another brush up with the dirt. Moe's going to have to make a decision here. He pulls back because he knows it's not worth pushing it just yet. This is going to give all four of these guys a chance to 
look for some space. Jay's going to pull alongside Patchy, trying to close the door to the outside, force him to make a move. Pulls back at the last second so he can at least focus on the acceleration. That'll give him a little more speed into Rainy. He'll be able to pull alongside, hopefully. Not quite, but we've got all four of them staying nice wide together. And it's a uniform line. I think Moe's going to look for another opportunity soon, but Patchy goes for the same... Uh, Sorry, goes for the inside dive there, but he goes for two cars instead of one. Unfortunately, gets a little bit too ambitious, so that's going to push him back. Mo Power is getting squeezed to the inside, and he had nowhere to go, so that's not going to be on Mo. I know he's going to be feeling a little guilty there. Unfortunately, Wibbo gets spun there in the process, but that's what happens. You got to leave a little bit of space. Or uh, you always have to leave the space, as uh, our boys always say. That's going to give Jay and Patchy the clean battle for P1. Mo Pau is now working to play catch up with Speed Bump hungry behind him. So he's got, uh, got himself wrapped up here in this battle for P1. Take a look around as we've got Moonshiner and Marui fighting. We do see these cars alongside each other quite a bit. Moonshiner looking for an opportunity. If he can take some kind of late dive or something, he might have a chance. Speed bump and Mo make something happen here. We're gonna take a look at Moonshiner possibly getting the move through Andretti. He does. Oh, and Marui tries to hang on. And oh, big contact there between Ostrich and Moonshiner. That's gonna push him out wide, drop him down to P13. We've got Moonshiner sitting in P11 there. That's going to be a little bit tough. We, uh, looking back up at the front, Patchy and Jay. Jay hanging on at the moment. He's got Patchy behind him now, so we must have gotten a good pass in. We do see Speed Bump and Mo Pow as well. Brennan Diaz looking for a pass on Moonshiner to try and get himself into the top 10 now, sitting five tenths away. But we're keeping an eye on this battle for P1. Only two tenths separating Patchy and Jay now, so Patchy's definitely within range to try and make a move. And it looks like he'll be going for the switchback opportunity through Andretti. Jay does seem to defend that one pretty well. He leaves him a real narrow space. He can take it, but it's going to give him a bad line through this next bit. Okay. And I think that's why he typically holds off, lets Jay lead them through, looking for the passing opportunity through turn five. So Patchy going to ride right on his bumper. A little bit of bump drafting would really help separate this pack. Patch trying to find a way through. He's going to decide inside. Goes for a little fake out to the outside. So that gives Jay, keeps Jay guessing. He's not going to get the cleanest line through, but neither is Patchy. So Jay will keep the speed in through turn six into the straight. This is one of the harder parts here for them. Or actually, this is one of the faster parts considering they've got the tailwind with them. It's the front straight they've got the headwind in at 17 kilometers an hour. Jay and Patch, oh, a little bit close contact there, but nothing too dramatic. I know we've got other battles happening around the grid. We're not trying to ignore it, but this is one heck of a battle for P1. It's been almost a full 20 laps that these guys have been fighting each other. Uh, we do it by time there, Phil. So we got three minutes, 20 seconds left. Uh, that's and then it'll we'll see in regards to where the leaders are sometimes they have almost a full lap after that so they're it's definitely getting close battle indeed it is giving speed a little bit of a chance to move back up though 2.6 seconds now i believe he was at 3.5 when i checked i'm not entirely positive I do keep an eye on this Ostrich and Moonshiner battle, both rocking the Harbor Freight cars. Patchy with a little bit of an awkward entrance into three, giving Jay a chance to get right back on his bumper. He'll hold back a bit to see if he can get the passing opportunity before five, or at least with a dive. Uh, but it won't be enough just yet. Ten laps in two and a half minutes to go so we might be finishing up with about 12 13 laps total my guess is they'll have two more uh including like once they cross the line here 
Brennan Diaz looking for an opportunity on Marui and Ostrich also trying to find it as well. Mogo and Mo, it looks like. And finally, Mogo uh, gets a pass on Mo. I, I didn't even know they were that close, but oh, Mo's got a little bit of windshield damage, seems like. And Patch, oh, must have passed right as we looked away. So Patch now in the lead, 0.7. Oh, my God. So 0.7 away there for Patch. Uh, now a second, so he's doing pretty well. Ostrich finally getting the move on Moonshine, and we're just missing everything right now. But Mo Power's looking for his spot back on Mo, or some Mo Go. We also have Moonshiner and Ostrich battling side by side. It's going to be tough. Ostrich is going to pull in front, so he'll stay up through five. But really has a little bit of a spin, letting Diaz go in front down, so he's now in 11th. Mogo swinging through Andretti with a force. I don't think Mo's going to have the chance here. Oh, definitely not. He takes a little trip to the beach. So we'll go back up to the leaders. Uh, I want to give these guys a little bit of love. We'll go up to the leaders in a second. They seem to be holding their pace a couple tenths at a time. We'll just give Moonshiner a chance to try and make something happen on Ostrich in the next couple oh, turns. Man, Sounds like Mo Powers might have had a little bit of a spin out. Crash with environment as well. Oh, it sounds like he's got some suspension damage too. So that crash earlier on where he got wedged into the wall, I think uh, got him a, a little bit screwed up, but no worse for wear. He's still powering on top five. He's got Wibble behind him. Second now breathing down his throat. Less than a second between them. Marui trying to find the angle on Diaz to get in... Uh, I'll get up to P11, not quite in a battle for top 10 just yet, but who's to say what could happen in the next lap? Patchy and Jay. So this is going to be, oh, this is going to be the last lap. So Patch is actually going to take it here. I thought they would have one more, but Patch is going to power on through a big lead there and wins by five tens. Had I known, I would have watched. That was excellent. He literally, they must have just made it there. So well done. Patch crosses in front. We've got Jay, Speed, and Mogo. I wasn't even prepared for that. Brennan Diaz and Marui are going to have to try and make something happen. Let's see if we can catch eyes on that. So he's got about two sectors left. They just entered sector two. We'll see if Marui can shake something up here i am keeping an eye moonshiner actually is going to be the first one to get a chance so we'll watch him first yeah this is going to be the chance moonshiner gets real close to ostrich we'll see he's going to have to try and almost dive in through 11. Oh, because you start in first. Oh, and, you get, you get and a big spin in contact the there. Uh, Moon's going to let Ostrich yeah. move ahead. Oh, a battle for P1 and P2. Holy nice little battle there to end it. And <laughs> speaking of battles to end it, Brendan and JT are not done yet. A couple turns left. We'll see if Brendan can make something happen here right at the end. I did? Someone did on the finish line. No, you squeezed me into the wall. I didn't know where the people on P2. And Diaz crosses the line. He is all set there. And it sounds like things are cleared up. That's what we love to hear. So we've got a strong finishing there. We've got Patchy up in front. Jay, Speed Bump, Mogo, Mo. See a ton of close battles throughout. Ostrich and Moonshiner with a nice close one, and JT Pez and Diaz with another close yes, way to end it. What I was thinking the entire time. That was one hell of a battle, but I am going to go take care of setting up next week's race. Thank you all for.